All right. We are here today with Trim Jesus, the American rapper from Flint, Michigan. Born and raised, I'm not sure where. We're going to ask, we're going to find out all of these questions, all of these answers soon. Trim Jesus. I like to do, what's the deal? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Glad to have you here today. Yeah, good to be here, good to be here. Let's just start with the basics. Okay. Where did you get your name from? My homeboy gave me that name. Uh, my boy Ant, shout out to my nigga Ant, he gave me that name. Yeah, he, uh, I guess he was mad I was putting too much, too much shake in the bag, you know what I mean? <laughs> So it's not an innuendo. Innuendo? I thought the trim was about pussy. It mean, it mean what you think it mean. Indeed. It mean exactly what you think it mean. I'm not going to hold you. Whatever you think it mean, that's exactly what it mean. Okay. It's good to know. Because, I mean, I'm, look, for real, as a fan, I thought the trim was about badge. I don't know, you rap a lot about it, so. Yeah, yeah, Trim J's. I mean, it's a double. It's a double, you know. It could, it could mean, uh, you know, what I mean, the savior of cooch. Yeah, it could be the. It could mean the savior of cooch, or it could mean the savior of trim, like you the bag lord. Whew. That was hard. Yeah, it mean what you think it mean, matter of fact. All right. Question number two. What motivates you? What motivate me? Shit, what used to motivate me was, uh, was, uh, like, making the hardest shit, being the hardest nigga, like, spending the hardest shit used to be, like, priority to me. But, like, now it's like, <laughs> I go off vibes and shit, you feel me? I go off a vibe. So the vibe is what I be going for, what keep me motivated. And then when I drop some shit, and my son get to singing that shit, walk around the house rapping my shit. I be feeling like, damn, you know what I mean? Cause that's me. And he rapping and shit, and he be rapping that shit from the soul. So I be like, damn, that's that's what's motivating me right now. Is like making him proud for sure. I feel like he proud of me. When I do shit. What's your favorite song? My favorite song. Um, I got a few favorite songs. My favorite song, probably uh, Worsome. I like, I like Ooh. I like Walk On It. I like How I'm Moving. I like, right now I like all my shit. I ain't gonna lie, I like all my shit. But the one I listen to the most right now gotta be uh, How I'm Moving for sure. Supposed to do ain't make the list. Supposed to do is hard, but to me, like what I be riding to, like what I play, like me personally, it, it be it be. I'm sorry, I'm biased. Nah, you know, good. One of my tracks. You good. You know I like I'm that saying. shit too. I like that shit too. You feel me? But I really ain't saying what you say. What you say is really like my favorite one for real, for real. Like I be banging that one probably the most. Be banging that one the most for sure. Low key. <laughs> And finally, Jim Jesus, what are you working on right now? What I'm working on right now? Shit, man. I'm really just working on trying to stay active at this shit, bro. Like, to not let up, bro. Like, keep my foot on everybody's neck, bro. Like, I'm not letting up no time soon. So, that's what I'm working on is, is pressure. Pressure is what I'm working on for the fans, you know what I mean? For everybody who tapped in, tuned in, what was going on. Yeah, we, we kind of with the pressure, the music, the content, the, the, all that shit, the whole, everything. You know what I mean? Personally, that's that's what I'm working on right now is stepping up my game with the pressure. It's putting pressure on everything and everybody. For sure. You want to let everybody know where they can find you? Oh, man. You can find me on everything at Trim Jesus, T-R-I-M-J-E-E-Z-U-S, which I don't know that. You know that. 
but uh, I'm on everything. Just type that in, and that's where you're gonna see me at. On everything. Can we expect any more features in the near future? Oh man, features in the near future. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been fucking with my rapper friends. I've been trying to get him to come to the studio with me and shit. You know, I've been trying to work that in there. I've been trying to, you know what I mean, work some shit out with that. I don't know right now though. I don't know. Like, you gotta go with the vibe of things. You know, you can't really try to force it. You know, so like. If it come, it come. I'm, I'll, I'll for sure let y'all know if some shit coming, like, you know, for sure. But as of right now, I don't know. I want to work with motherfuckers, though, for sure. I want to work with motherfuckers, for sure. So I ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Are you currently looking to put any artists on? No. You ain't got no R&B acts in the work you ain't got nobody uh, I can't even really put nobody on bro I'm not even in a position to put nobody on wow humble humble <laughs> huh I, I can't put nobody on like, what I could do is get your ass some uh, pointers and shit do what I'm doing or you could just watch what I'm doing and do that shit other than that I have no idea at all what was the uh, inspiration behind Walk on it. Walk on it. Oh shit, man. Walk on it was just like some shit like I started listening to the beat, right? You know what I mean? And then I just started saying that shit. And then I felt that shit. And I'm like, alright, fuck it, yeah, yeah, load that bitch up, load that bitch up, we load that bitch up. And then boom, walk on it. Like, I felt like Walk On It, though. Like, my real intention for Walk On It, like, some real play and shit. Something that gets dressed, but get in the shower, you know what I mean? When you about to go uh, see your little yeah or something, you feel me? You trying to feel good, that's, that's that, you know what I mean? That's Walk On It, that's Walk On It, that's that, that's that. Mojo activator, you feel me? I was trying to activate the mojo on that one for sure. How did you uh how did you come about with the track Dope Swing? Like what brought that on? Dope Swing? That See, shit bang. That shit go hard. That man. shit go hard. Shout out to my nigga Lines, bro. Lines the king. You feel me? He sent that bitch over. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, I was just riding in the car, riding in the car, listening to that beat, trying to figure out how I'm gonna come on that bitch. And I was listening to the beat and it sounded like somebody was knocking on the door on that bitch, like. If you listen to the song, it sounds like somebody kind of like knocking. And that's why I was like, shit, don't keep swagging, don't keep swagging. Knocking, don't knock, beating off. You feel me? All that shit came from that. It sounded like somebody was knocking on the door. And I'm like, shit, bro. That's how I'm going to come on that bitch. Like, one of them. Some smooth, still, but still kind of like, you know, it's that. Yeah, that shit go hard. Appreciate it, buddy. Which, this is your, what, 10th project? Oh, man. Like 12 projects? Nah, like see, I got Lavender Town, I got Future City, then I dropped a Deluxe, uh, Lavender Town Deluxe, then I dropped uh, Might As Well, then I dropped three of them on my birthday when I turned 30. I dropped three EPs. I had dropped Weed Butter. I had dropped Dope. Sensei. I had dropped Shades of Green. Then after that, I dropped uh, the Extra Weed Butter and Deluxe. And then I dropped uh, Jesus Juice. That's 10. And 11, I dropped. Who uh, City? No, nah, no. Nah, I dropped uh, Jesus Loves You. Mm -hmm. Jesus yep. Loves You. And then after Jesus Loves You, I dropped LED. A lot of people think it's the Flint City, but it's really LED, LED, like the lights, like mm -hmm. lights and shit, you know. We turned up, we turned on, we, we lit, you feel me? That's where I was going with that, like we lit, the city lit, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then after LED, it was like 11, I think, 11, 12, 11, 
So yeah, it's probably like 12, 13, for real, for real. About, so, about 12, something like that. I lost count when we started talking. Right. Yeah, it's, I have a joint. It's, it's, some, it's some shit out there. So all the projects, which ones would you say is your favorite? My favorite? My favorite? Oh, uh, man. I don't really have a favorite because I got like moods where I want to hear one of them. And then it's, I got moves where I don't want to hear that one. I want to hear another one. So I'll be having moves where it changes. You know what I mean? So once right now, I'm on the Jesus Loves You. I was just listening to that. I was listening to Jesus Loves You. That's one of my favorites because it's more sentimental to me. Like, it's more sentimental to me. All my favorite shit be sentimental to me. You know what I mean? I mean, as it should, as an artist, you put, yeah. you know what I'm saying, your heart into each thing yeah. differently, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It evokes each track, is an evocation of evocation of a different mood, you know what I'm saying? You're feeling something different each time you put each joint out, so it should be. Um. <coughs> but, though, I deserve it. That's really my baby right there, like, all this shit accumulated up to this shit. And to me, it's like, there's more shit on the flow, so it'd be hard to keep up with all that shit. But at the same time, like, I love all that shit. Unless I wouldn't put it out. 